Hello children, I am Sunandani Chaggam, SA Bioscience, GHS Burgam part. In coordination chapter, let us see the topic reflex arc. Our nervous system consists of brain, spinal cord and the nerves arising from the brain and spinal cord. The structure of nerve cell we have seen in the last video. Now, let us see the reflex arc. All our body parts, mainly the tissues and cells in them, work by picking up signals of changes in the surrounding environment. These changes are called stimuli. Our body parts respond to those stimuli. Not only our body parts, but all living organisms respond to external stimuli. If suddenly a thorn is pricked, we lift our legs. And now watch a video how our body responds to stimulus. Observe the video children. Yes, light falling on ice. Yes, leg movement. Observe carefully, children. If we put our hand on fire, we remove our hand suddenly. If light falls on our eyes, our pupil will contract. If we sniff something, we sneeze. If we hang our leg freely and beat softly on a knee, our knee will show jerking movements. All these are responses which occur suddenly. Such actions which occur without our involvement are called involuntary actions. So here we remove our hand from fire all of a sudden without our involvement. Our pupil also contract without our involvement when light falls on our eyes. We sneeze immediately if we smell anything which is irritating. Our uh, leg also moves without our Involvement if we beat on the knee when it is hanged freely. Our body needs to respond to certain situations called involuntary actions where signals may not go up to the brain but passes through the spinal cord. Such responses are called reflexes and the path is called reflex arc. See the reflex arc passing from spinal cord. Children, let us see various parts involved in reflex arc. The spinal cord, the sensory nerve, the motor nerve, inter neuron which connects the sensory nerve and motor nerve. Effector muscle and this is the detector or the receptor which receives the external stimulus. So this is the reflex arc. The nerves involved in reflex arc are the Sensory nerves, they carry messages from sense organs like eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin to brain or spinal cord. Mostly in reflex arc, the information is carried to spinal cord and these are the sensory nerves. These are motor nerves. These nerves carry messages 
from brain or spinal cord to the muscles these are also known as efferent nerves the sensory nerves are also called as efferent nerves and the motor nerves are called as efferent nerves in the third nerves or interneurons or association nerves these nerves link the efferent and efferent nerves with each other that is they form a link between the sensory nerves and motor nerves children if you accidentally touch a very hot surface our hand moves aside immediately during this action which is involuntary and uh, which has to be carried out in very short intervals of time that is in within seconds the pathway of reflex action involves spinal cord but not the brain it takes time to get command from brain so spinal cord takes the decision such a single pathway going up to the spinal cord from detectors that is from skin and returning to the effector that is to the hand muscles is called reflex arc so children here you can see the sensory neuron taking information from hand to the spinal cord here the interneuron which is in green color relays the information to the motor neuron here it is taking to the hand muscle so immediately hand is moved up so this is the reflex action and this path followed by the neurons is called the reflex arc the important questions from this topic may be what is reflex arc what are sensory nerves define motor nerves draw a diagram showing reflex arc what is the difference between sensory nerves and motor nerves so prepare well for the exams children